Hello, I'm Mike Coglin, founder and CEO of ScriptPro. Welcome to the Pharmacy Workflow Tour. I'm back at the factory in Kansas City, and I would like to show you some of the products we make here for pharmacy automation. You will see some of these innovative designs at the Workflow Tour, but I'd like to give you an idea of what they look like back at our home site. Please come in to our showroom. I especially want you to see our family of robots. We have six different sizes of robots, but they all have certain distinctive design characteristics that are very important to the users of these machines. The first distinctive element of the Script Pro system is the drug cell. This drug cell can be adjusted very simply on site through this flow gate mechanism. The opening or closing of the flow gate allows the cell to handle any tablet or capsule on the market without factory calibration. It can be done right there on site. The dispensing is performed through the robotic arm engaging the platter on the drug cell and turning the platter so that the pills fall through a light beam that's actually built into the gripper. It's very accurate, it's clean, uh, does not generate dust, does not use air pressure, and it's also virtually free of noise. The next particularly distinctive element of all Script Pro systems, unique in the industry, is the labeling of the bottle, the pharmacy vial. Our system is the only one that labels the bottle after the filling occurs. All of the other systems label it in advance as they bring it out of the vial dispenser. Our system fills it and then prints and applies the label so you have accurate label information. Other systems will have an inaccurate label. For example, if the drug sale runs out and it can't be replenished, it'll have the wrong quantity on there. These systems require the operators to mark up the label or reprint the label in order to correct those defects. Another distinctive feature of the Script Pro robots is that they only require access from the front. All other robots require access from the front, the back, and at least one end. Script Pro robots uniquely can be placed against a wall or inside a shelving system or with shelving on the back. This makes them much easier to fit into pharmacies. I would like to show you one of our smaller compact robots, which you actually have here at the workflow uh, tour. And I would like to show you how this has been designed to fit into a shelving system, as I mentioned. This is the Script Pro Compact Robotic System. We call it the CRS. It has the same distinctive features that I mentioned earlier, the same drug cells, dispensing technology, labeling characteristics. You can load the vials in the top or the bottom, bulk load. The labeling unit pulls out. Very easy to change the labels. And it is designed to fit inside a standard pharmacy shelving bay. Script Pro started this industry and is a leader in this technology. Let's see what separates ScriptPro from its competitors. Welcome to the competitor corral, where we display robots we have taken in trade. Virtually every dispensing system on the planet is represented here. Let's see some of the differences between ScriptPro robots and its competitors. Starting with the dispensing technology, here are the Script Pro drug cells, the regular size and the larger size, uh, totally taken apart. These drug cells could be put in a dishwasher and cleaned. The other dispensing technologies that are currently active are also shown here. This design has to be sent back to Japan for recalibration. This design uses air pressure in the dispensing process and you can see the buildup of dust around the cell gets on your hands. This, this cell also, as does this one, uses air pressure in the dispensing process. This drug cell has numerous parts that have to be taken apart to clean, have to be taken out. Uh, there is a place here where you can spray air pressure in it, but obviously it would not clean the cell unless you took it apart. 
Most of these drug cells have cables, motors, wires that make them impossible to clean without removing the electronic elements. Now you can see why Scripro is the leader in pharmacy robotics. But let me give you a little history. Scripro started installing robots in pharmacies in 1997. A few months ago, I visited one of our earliest customers in Oregon who has 17 of our robots that have been working since 1998. When I visited the store, the one message I got from the staff was that there is no way they would ever let anyone take their Scripro robot away. They simply could not get along without it. I visited the senior management group, and they were concerned that I was coming there to tell them that we were no longer going to be able to support their robots. Quite the contrary, I was telling them about new features and advancements we've made that can be retrofitted to every one of their robots, and every robot that we have manufactured. They were thrilled. You know, when you look at the equation of being able to put a robot in a pharmacy that can fill over half of your prescriptions, it's an incredible opportunity to use technology. Once you've paid for the technology, as these customers have done many, many years ago, it cost about $21 a day to fully support the system. I encourage you to look into the potential for Scripro robots to automate your pharmacy so that your staff can spend their time focusing on patient care and higher level activities that cannot be automated but that are incredibly important to your business. Thank you for joining us on this pharmacy workflow tour.